Hello and welcome to the 34th, right? 35th? No, we're on 35 now. 35? Yeah, we're on 35. This is the 35th Planet Destiny podcast. Welcome to the show, guys. Whole lot's happened in the past week. Uh, let's see. Ever since the last podcast, uh, I see. Oh, oh yeah, they did the whole uh, Court of Orcs reveal, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Lace of Lord and the Court of Orcs. We got to see some awesome, awesome sword. Some sword stuff going on there. I think... Uh, I think that was the most hyped I've ever seen the community about something. Like, even in the Planet Destiny Twitch chat, since we were hosting it, it was just... Sword hype? Sword hype for just yeah, five hype, straight minutes. Hype. People are it, really it, excited to see mm-hmm. what this is going to mean, both in PvP and in PvE. Yep. It's also because there was an exotic sword. It, yeah. yeah. The, that, that's the first thing they showed. They are like, oh, it, let's just look at that. Oh, look at that, an exotic. Yeah. It, fake, it, it, it Lauren, no fake longer... a surprised face so we can make it seem like you weren't <laughs> supposed to see that. <laughs> exactly. It was no longer, oh, we're getting legendary swords. It was, there's definitely it, there exotic is swords an exotic sword in the loot table. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was happy to see that. I think, I think the reason why I got excited was because this, this object, the sword, I want to see the relic and things like that come to us in the form of, um, of custom games, hopefully in the future. I know mm-hmm. that we keep talking about that as custom games are exciting, but that's the reason why I got excited when they showed the sword is because I I can only imagine all the cool stuff that the community can come up with that has involves a sword or a shield, and um, I don't know it just it be, when like I sword see that, and melee like, only challenge. Oh, oh, I can't I can't wait for a <laughs> PvP match to start where oh my god like we, we we can some I I'm I'm gonna at least do stuff where like we queue in a six v six. Everyone queues up against each other, and then mm-hmm. we just wait around for for heavy ammo to drop. We all bust out our swords, and then just see, just see what happens after that point. I think that'd be great. <laughs> I'll tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna shoot you with my rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Hey, hey, but Briar, you're gonna have to actually aim that rocket launcher this time. <laughs> not Thank a, God. Not against a bunch of guys with swords. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it's, if Halo days, it, it, you know, you, it was kind of a skill to hit people with rockets. You actually had to hit it was. something. <laughs> yeah, you had to rely on splash damage a lot more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, and remember, in the Taking King 2.0, splash damage is greatly reduced. And uh, grenades and horseshoes. These guys that, that got proximity detonation. Got is nerfed. Be very yep. much nerfed. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. I'm really concerned yep. about how the sword is going to actually function. Are we going to be able to like fly around with the sword? I don't a la think so the because Crota sword. Because it, it looked like every time they used it, like it, it took some ammo away. It took mm-hmm. ammo. Right. Uh, plus, it, it looked like there were there were very specific animations, and they didn't have that much forward momentum tied tied to them. There was uh, one point where uh, Laced Up Lauren actually fell off the map. She had backed up. Uh-huh. And if she could have kind of used that forward swipe to like project herself forward, mm-hmm. she could have gotten back on the map. And I was wondering if maybe just that sword doesn't have it or like will different swords have different abilities. I think that's going to be a thing, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And any other like differences between the swords? Did, did we well, see anything like y- that? Uh, yeah, we saw... Oh, well, at least there were some cosmetic differences. Cosmetic, Lace Up Lauren's yeah. sword was solar damage, and the other two looked like they were each a, their own respective elemental type. They had a mm-hmm. a very distinctive glow about them. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. What's also interesting is that they said that you have to go and forge it yourself. Yes. Like you don't you don't get it as a real world, world drop, or suddenly you have the sword. You have to actually go and mm-hmm. basically like an exotic bounty, yeah. essentially, right? So you go. You find the, the elements, you forge it together. And that also makes you wonder, if you keep on forging it, do you get different flavors for that what, same what, exotic? What if, what, if, what if the sword is actually forged, not as a hat, as Luke promised us, but what if <laughs> the sword is uh, Oryx's ass? <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. You know? like, that's why he's really hat, pissed off. We get a sword. <laughs> No, the thing is, you have to unsheathe it from Oryx's ass. That's yes, a, that's the, we uh... actually that's the animation at the end. Mm-hmm. He's bent over, right? We've yeah. bested him, and we break off a piece of his ass. Yeah, and that's our sword. And that's the final element to forge that's the Thor, the, for, yeah, forge the, the sword hilt. at the gunsmith. That cutscene is going to be really weird with Eris then, because <laughs> she has, she's very clearly <laughs> holding a piece of. Yes. Uh, of the sword in that cutscene. Of Oryx scene. break off? Yeah, of or- no, no, Oryx no. break we off. We might actually have hit the nail on the head here. <laughs> oh. What if we have actually predicted the final scene? I believe in, it. Uh, I think we nailed it. Confirmed. Yep. 
<laughs> ten out of ten on that one. I think they tried to animate. They tried to do. You know how they do the 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 motion animation, the live motion animation, the motion capture, the, sure, right, motion capture stuff. I think they probably tried to do one where they put his ass as a hat, but they there was probably some complications there. I want to. I want to meet. There's the, a really uh, pissed off motion actor. Yeah, I, right I want to meet that motion <laughs> actor that was just sit, sitting there yeah. bent over playing the part of exactly. Oryx's ass. Exactly. So they decided to back off of it a little bit and maybe try to sword instead. Uh, yeah. I'm just guessing right now. No, the, I'm, I'm very excited to try out the sword. It's, it looks like they're going to be a really fun class. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I I have been stocking up on heavy ammo synthesis because the reasons I like that sword. I, I think I'm going to want to... To me, the sword is going to be fun to use like a... a, a like kind of like a run and gun class, right? Mm -hmm. If I can find a way to build up a uh, agility, high agility, um, instead of using a shotgun as a, as a as a as a tool of destruction, right? You you get the heavy ammo and you become you you know you can lunge at somebody and you do a run and gun style where you're just sprinting around the map and uh, using the sword lunge. I don't know. Sounds awesome. I'm I'm down. I, I think I'm I think the down. sword's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something like the No Land Beyond, where if you're getting kills with it in PvP, people are gonna be raging. They're gonna be like, "Oh, the sword! <laughs> I can't believe I got killed by the sword." Well, it really makes me wonder what the tactical side of it, being able to block, is gonna how, how that's gonna play. Yeah, same. Like how how effective are you gonna are, be? Able are you to gonna be able to just like super... block a rocket? Or right. Something? Can mm -hmm. yeah? Can you tank a rocket? Can you tank? A Fist of Havoc if it's got solar oh, reduction. No. Or, I mean, not solar, but arc reduction. You know, is that going to be on the table? Because then gonna, you could use your sword heavy ammo. You're going to see some, like, formations yeah. with, like, people using guard and doing, like, those Roman... I can't remember what they're called, but they got, like, a, a legion of people. You're going to have, like, four people with sword just slowly walking forward, guarding, and then some guys in the back lobbing rockets... This yeah. sounds awful. <laughs> Briar, Briar, do you remember um, in Reach? Was it Reach that had armor lock? Yep. Yeah. Oh I god. Die. This better not. How, be armor how could lock. you? How could you forget? How could you forget this, about armor lock? That is what caused me to start playing COD. I stopped playing Halo because of, of armor lock. Armor lock was the worst decision in Halo history. I really <laughs> sincerely hope Patrick that you're not right and that the sword allows you to absorb any incoming damage. But but here's the thing, the thing that Armor Lock had was that it would just you'd had infinite amount of it. Like it would regenerate and then boom, you could do it again. With this, there would actually be heavy ammo associated with it. Yeah, I hope it's like maybe it uses up heavy ammo based on the amount of damage that you just blocked. So yeah, you might be able to block a rocket, but you're only going to be able to block maybe. one of those yeah. rockets before, you know, Like if it, if it absorbs a rocket launcher, it would absorb like boom, all of your, it would absorb all of it. No, I want it to be like Kevin Bacon in uh, X-Men First Class where it like converts all that energy into, into super energy or something like that or, or converts it into ammo. Yeah, that'd be kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you would like absorb. You would like. Absorb oh yeah. The kinetic. Uh, energy you absor of, absorb the, the kinetic rocket, energy. It would, it would give you. Yeah, and something. then and then you'd also look more youthful, like Kevin Bacon. Oh no, this <laughs> idea is bad. So it's anti aging material too. That's yeah. why you use your sword. Anti aging. Oh, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. I, I've been scared about the sword in PvP since we started hearing about it, and <laughs> like. I, you know, depending on what the lunge looks like, is there any kind of like, is there any kind of invincibility associated with sword lunge? Uh, mm. Are there going to be guys flying across the screen and hitting you with the sword? You know, before you can even you know shoot them out of the air. Are there guys going to be just like corner camping, crouching, and, and just waiting for other people to walk by, like they did with the Halo sword? All this stuff has me really concerned about how the, how useful this sword is going to be in PvP. It's got to be useful enough people use it, but all all that I can say is my Night Stalker. I'm going to definitely I'm going to play like the Hunter Trapper build where I, I trap a bunch of people with my with my super, and then I come in and just gut them all like a bunch of fish with a sword. You That's cool. Walk up and samurai. <laughs> oh, I would, yeah. I'd respect that. Sounds that. awesome. Yeah, I'd give you I'd give you props for that. Yeah, I mean, I had to use my super plus heavy ammo to kill you with that combo. Yeah, yeah plus it seems like stylish. That's a, an inefficient well use of ammo, but still, I would, it, it, yeah, I would but, appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. I think I think it'd be great. So, what else did we see in this? We we also had a weekly update this week, correct? Well, we didn't mm -hmm. talk about the quarter oryx. Oh yeah, 
Oh There's God. that whole Lord Lord of Orcs thing. Stuck on the sword. I mean, yeah. as soon as I saw that, it's like squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's true. I, the, the, yeah, I mean, the fact that it's like exotic and also that you have to go and combine it, so there's going to be multiple. And I, I know I'm still talking about the sword, but still, <laughs> it's like it's it's amazing. And do you think the Court of Oryx is going to play a big role in getting those sword materials? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I, I think. I that, think the Dreadnought in general I, will will have a yeah. Will I play a big ben role in Womack, it. I think that Ben Womack did a really great job of that style of. I think that this is Bungie's true answer to the um, to a, their version of a loot cave. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know what I mean? Which is mm-hmm. awesome. I, Which I love, is awesome. Yeah. This is like they're they're like you want a loot cave, here it is. Yeah. But you're gonna have to work for it. You can't just sit there. Yeah. No, I I, I definitely like the Court of Orcs from what we saw. It really felt like they took the things that they that the community liked about Prison of Elders. You know, it's a a quick short activity that offers rewards. Mm-hmm. And then they took the you know four rounds of bullshit trash mobs that you have to deal with out of it so mm-hmm, now it's mm-hmm. just okay use these use these runes spawn a boss get loot repeat yeah. do it again yep. get two bosses yeah exactly do it again we don't know yet yeah we don't know yet <laughs> yeah now briar remember what what was one of the funniest things you could do to troll somebody at the loot cave uh, you could just stand in the middle of the loot cave <laughs> just right. not let anything and, spawn yeah. out um, and and you know people did that right yeah so based on the video of the with laced up Lauren and everybody was working together, but you know this is a public space. I imagine people uh, from other fire teams will be able to show up. Yes. Yeah, they said nine yeah. total people could be there. Nine total. All right. Nine total. Well, yeah. can you think of a way that fighting bosses, right, that have specific like uh, uh, yeah you know, mechanics and all mechanics that. to defeat them. Specifically, I'm, the the one that uh, where you kill them and then they come back, or that the wizards resurrect them. Yeah, I feel like that is going to have some trolling problems because people the, are gonna be like, oh, "I'm just going to kill this wizard real quick." The one that's going to have some trolling problems is the one with the cursed thralls. Like, that's what I'm concerned about too, because if, if you got people just blowing those things up, you can't get it close enough to the ogre yeah. to take it. No, that, that's what happened to us at when we were testing it at Bungie. Like the other, we were we were doing it, we were doing fine with just the three of us, and then the other fire team kind of rolled in there their first time. They they just got there after they kind of got lost in the dreadnought on their way there and then they just start killing thralls and we're just shouting stop killing the cursed thralls stop because they 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 weren't there for the starting message of curse uh, that gave you the hint about the cursed thralls so yeah I can, I can see that being a problem pretty quickly though mm-hmm. right it's like you might find that happens in the first week or two but pretty quickly people are going to see have seen all the bosses in there they're going to know what to do it's going to be like the vault of glass we're opening the vault of glass you're going to be on patrol you're going to see some people doing it you're just going to jump in give them a hand move on your merry way well i hope i hope it's like that and i can imagine i can imagine you you've saved up your you know whatever you use to activate these these fights right mm-hmm. and um you, you're going to have to earn them somewhere right yeah, and you're you're gonna activate this fight, and some Yahoo comes in and screws up the fight, and you don't get the kill in time. Um, do you lose the loot? Um, yeah. From from what it looks like, is you have to complete the encounter for you to get that loot. Do you lose the the rune also? Is it the, the it, rune one time use? It consumes the rune um, when you actually like complete it. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying that the or trolling it, 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 is going to exist. Yeah. Yeah, trolling exists in every video game, though. And what we can just do here is there's that awesome report feature that mm-hmm. Bungie has implemented mm-hmm. where you can say, hey, yeah, this guy's being a complete dickbag. Quit it. Pope, do you see a lot of this <laughs> Destiny? Because, I mean, I've played a lot of like the, the newer Fallen events, you know, going out to fight the wolves. I don't find that I see a lot of this in just public Destiny spaces is do you see a lot of that no but i think it's a i guess i don't but um i it's it's a concern that that you know people on twitter are throwing at me they're saying well you know i'm worried about you know going in solo because they don't play with a lot of fire teams and they're they're just worried about being able to go do these patrol spaces by themselves this is like their zen moment their their relaxation is to go in after you know work or whatever 
and go in by themselves and play. And so they're requ they, they're almost dependent on other people to get these activities done. And I think when you're in that scenario, you um, you see more of it. And um, okay, I could see that. Yeah. I don't know. For them, for them, they're concerned that that light em up beast, Mr. Hawkmoon, it says, um, you know, I play solo. He doesn't use a mic. And he's not sure which direction Bungie's heading, but he's worried because there's a focus on fire teams and not a lot of solo type activities. And I think he's right. A lot of what they're focusing on is teamwork based stuff. So and so there's those solo people that are a little concerned with with how are they going to be able to do the Court of Oryx without getting trolled. I don't think it's going to be that big an issue. I think that he'll be able to go over there, wait for another fire team to start it up. Or, you know, and kind of just kind of take his turn while that fire team is there. I I honestly can see that happening where I've got my fire team there. Another person comes, joins us. As long as he's contributing, then we're going to help him out too. You know, that's just, I think, how the the bulk of the community, des the Destiny community really behaves. Uh, in my overwhelming experience, you know, like there has been some issues I've had, but there's so few and far between. I just don't see this being that much yeah. of an issue. Also, I think I, it's a small I, I percentage. So. I hope so. I think it's a small percentage. And I remember at the loot cave, I there was every now and then somebody would go in there and just either they were oblivious and they'd be in the inventory their whole time or they actually were a dick and sat down in the cave. And then yeah. you'd just be like, all right, well, I'm going to reload this mission because you'd start right there if you did it through the mission. And it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, the quarter Oryx thing, it, it, if there is a problem with the one with the exploding cursed thralls, then I bet Bungie will address it somehow. Yep. I bet you're well, right. you know, I think that if you're running um, a lot of these patrols by yourself, you could always use a little bit of a, a, a little help, right? And you know what this sound is, Tefty? Oh, yeah? A little <laughs> boost? That's is that a little... Of, uh... That's the sound of help. <laughs> if you're the first to listen to this, RWX4V, as in Victor, 374, may just help you, Solo Ranger. I don't understand how a heart-stoppingly large load of caffeine is going to help you. Um, it, it's not going to help me, but whoever gets that code, they might just be able to get past that next level, you know, with that XP boost. That next level action right there. Mm -hmm. You don't make it's friends by level. smelling like taurine. <laughs> well, you do make friends by giving away lots of Red Bull codes, though. Oh, snap. Oh, no. So, were you guys excited about this? Now, Pope and Patrick, you guys both mm -hmm. played it. Was it fun? Was it exciting? What did, what did you guys think about it? Yeah, I've, I've, I actually really enjoyed it. Okay, so we are almost 20 minutes into the podcast, and it reminded me a lot of some of my oh, wild Let's experiences. Let's move on to something yeah. else uh, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what it really reminded me of, two specific events in WoW that you could do. That In Burning Crusade, they did they introduced something called, oh, fuck, what was it? Oh, the Crucible of Carnage. Yeah. This small uh, quest that you could do while leveling up where you would basically spawn a boss and then your party had to kill it. And you you kept doing them. They got progressively harder and harder until you got a, a reward at the end. And they in Vanilla WoW, there was also something where called the Dukes where you would go around, you got these materials, kind of like runes. You'd offer them as a sacrifice at these certain places, and you'd spawn a low tier level boss. Said low tier boss would either drop a would drop a material, and allow you to do a higher tier boss. Repeat, repeat until you have a forty man raid boss. So that's that's kind of what we're seeing here with Court of Orcs mm -hmm. as well. And some of my best some of my fondest memories from WoW were from those group oriented activities, just because you'd always have someone kind of jump in at random. And and either help you out or oh my or you know we're not going to have this in Destiny but oh my God there's the 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 hordes here now oh God we gotta we gotta try to kill them and yeah mm -hmm. really really fun encounters there that's cool it, you, it reminds me I, I haven't played it yet and I'm sorry Pope I'll let you no, talk no, no, about no, it no, after no. I'm done I wasn't gonna just say anything smart. expressing this mm -hmm. it reminds me of the how it felt when House of Wolves was about to drop and everybody was getting into these public events that just showed up on the server and Everybody was joining. They're like, oh, I'm excited because I'm going to get this chest. And it generated a whole new buzz that was going on there. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like Bungie saw that and thought, or <laughs> maybe they already had Quarter Oryx way planned in advance, but it feels like they saw that and were like, we want more of that in the game. And Quarter Oryx really feels like it enhances that experience. Where if there are nine people in this public space, that is really cool to have a difficult boss show up 
because we don't know what T3 or higher is going to be. Um, and that's uh, that's exciting. I want I want that experience in the, these public ex- public spaces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it was really fun. Uh, the The big question I've been getting from a lot of people on YouTube and uh, Twitter is, do you think it'll last? Because I quote unquote said that Prison of Elders was really fun when I played it. And yes, it was really fun when I played it, but I didn't account for the two months of time that you could have playing it and then get burnt out on it and never enjoy doing it mm-hmm. again. Uh, I, I don't There's really a think specific a reason favorite. for that, though. The, the loot rewards. Oh, yeah, the loot rewards are god-awful. Like the the rewards weren't there to justify uh, doing it over and over, and I, I think the same thing is going to mm-hmm. happen with Court Oryx. If we don't get stuff out of there that we want, then after two or three weeks, we're going to be like, "Well, that was fun, but I don't really care about going to Court of Oryx anymore." The difference, though, is that the Court of Oryx isn't like a tent pole of this release. I don't feel like it. it you know, they're they showed it off. It's really cool. It's not one of the. Th- it's not like a raid level activity, right? It's not like a Trials right. of Osiris. It's you know, it's. It's something that you're going to find in the public space and you can do, you know, and it, mm-hmm. it's just an extra thing that I think is a really smart bonus addition to the, the this new version of a public space. Yeah. When I was at Bungie and we kind of asked, like, where do you guys see this being? Is, is this supposed to be kind of like an in-game activity, like a raid, or is this something, you know, lesser tier than that? It's like, yeah, that's it's, it's supposed to be what public events are right now, where you can kind of just go in, do them, have some fun, and then get a little bit of a little bit of loot for it. You don't really get loot mm-hmm. for them in public events right now, but you know, the, the, that's the place that they want it to be and I think it'll succeed at at that. It's as long as people understand that it's not supposed to be the next in-game content thing that that's what the raid's going to be for. Right. Yeah, I mean, if anything they're showing that the, the this dreadnought is full of a lot of cool stuff and mm-hmm. secrets and Court of Oryx, they made a whole thing about it, and the fact that it's going to be just something that you get to do when you're in patrols there is really cool. It's mm-hmm. a step in the right direction. Yep. Yeah. Like I, I totally foresee, like in the first few weeks, like purposely forming a fire team to get in there, and maybe even kind of loading in a couple of times to see if we can get two fire teams in there at the same time. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. But, LFG yeah. is in there. LFG for Court of Oryx. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, do, but, so that, like, that brings so up a good question. Do, do you think they'll ever put that in there, like a six-man patrol, so you can go into Court of Orcs? That would be freaking awesome. <laughs> I would love that's a six-man a, patrol. That's a neat idea. Because, yeah. I mean, we, we I do that on all the patrols. We saw a lot of people doing that on Venus with the um, with the the wolf patrols, where we would go mm-hmm. in as, you know, load up the Vault of Glass at, with mm-hmm. a full six-man fire team, and then go put you know two people in various locations, and then move from location to location when the wolves would come up. I think the idea of a six-man patrol has definitely it's, it's, been it's been thrown something around. That's been asked for by the community, and I would I wouldn't be surprised that Bungie, you know, maybe not, you, maybe that's not something that you're going to do as a tier one reward, right? But you know, maybe there is other activities. Besides this Court of Orcs, maybe it's something else that's going to be available in the Dreadnought that we haven't found out yet that requires six man and they're going to open it up in a future release. I think that would be cool. That's those are neat ideas. I don't know if that's something that they're thinking of, but it would be a perfect use of that. I wonder Mm -hmm. if the raid will be like the one on Venus where you can you can get your whole six man team in there and then we'll just be able to. Yeah, I I, I hope it's going to be like that and it won't be like the. uh... Hope it won't be like the dark or dark below where it kind of just spawns you in this special mm-hmm. moon instance. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that much at yeah. all. Yeah. Me neither. I always uh, like the fact like if I was outside of it and I got to see people are going in the vault of glass, I always thought that is really cool. I, they, they're about to go on this journey, mm-hmm. especially in September and October. And you're like, oh, that's cool. Okay, like good for them. And now you don't I, get to see that with uh, dark below. I still stop and I try and help people keep those platforms oh, yeah. open, try and form that, oh, yeah. that spire. I still do that, and I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. And you always get a wave when they're leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I honestly think Court of Orcs is going to be really great for the community aspects of the game too, because you know, what if you're in there with a fire team, and then there's another fire team there? Well, you might invite those guys to a party if it looks like they're going to be sticking around for a while. Invite them all to a PlayStation mm-hmm. party so you can actually start talking to them. Oh, you know, yada yada, and then all of a sudden, you know, two months later, you're at their wedding. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that escalated. Well, that that that, 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 that progressed quite quickly, <laughs> but you know, you, you get the idea, right? 
Sure. Yeah. sure. <laughs> what do you guys think about the mechanic where one person opens it and that person gets the best loot? So you basically have to like rotate who's doing it. Right. Um, it's got a cooldown yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, it has a cooldown. Uh, basically, so a, I think it's a minute after you complete yeah, it. You can't bogart the yeah. the runes, right? Yep. I honestly think it needs to be extended a little bit to like two minutes. That stops just one person doing it a bunch, but it still you could uh, monopolize a fire team. Like one one fire team could monopolize it the entire time. Just. Mm hmm. But you're you're um you're still getting rewards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of. You're you're not getting like guaranteed rewards, but engrams seemed like they were dropping like candy in there. Are really? you pulling? Yeah. I wonder if are you pulling from a lower tier, like a uh, loot table, or are you pulling from the same loot table but just your chances of getting that good stuff is lower? Uh, when I when question. I was there, I was getting like it started off. I got like two oh seven loot, and then I equipped that loot, and then I got two fifteen loot. That could just be because I was. Uh, getting better loot at the time. I uh, it, I haven't. I don't have any in, uh, conclusive things to say about the loot. As the person using the yeah artifact, yeah. Or I, I think oh. I got to use the artifact three times while I was there. And as my light level up, as my light level went up, it looked like I was getting better uh, light level rewards. But that's inconclusive right now. That I, I don't. I don't know if that's actually how it's going to go. I was just going to say you're talking that the loot system is. Smart, mm -hmm. where it looks at your current light level and then gives you stuff that is going to be relative what you're at at the moment. Is that what you're talking about, or was it based on tier level? Um, no, that like we we could only complete tier one stuff. So we couldn't do tier two. Oh, okay, we were, gotcha. We were gotcha. all item level, I think, one ninety while we were there. What? No, mm -hmm. we were all two. We were item level two hundred, and I think Court of Oryx, the the first tier was itemized around one ninety, or something like that. Right, right. Long story short, we couldn't do tier two at all. <laughs> we got, we got wrecked. Interesting. Yeah, we got wow. wrecked. So, tier two was also level forty one enemies, right? Yes, it was. Okay, we we should also kind of clarify something here. Uh, Luke Smith tweeted out, basically the level gap won't be as bad as it currently is. Where if you're not going to see a thirty three percent damage uh, decrease because of the one level, that's that's just due to uh, how they're doing light levels now, where like a forty, a level forty one, is around a two forty light level, uh, for us. That that's the suggested level for us to encounter him at. We're not going to see as big of a damage gap as there currently is in the game right now, because it's going to be based around light level and not your physical character level. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's difficult to explain it without having experienced it, but yeah. I mean, they're revamping the system mm -hmm. essentially. They they said, hey, there's some things that we didn't like about this revamping it for year two and hopefully that fixes it yeah I, I definitely like the leveling system that's going to be put in there as well just earning xp that's an easy way to, to go about leveling so like there's no more mm -hmm. there's no more guesswork involved or luck involved yep. you just at, le at least in the getting to maximum level once you try to increase your item level or your light level that that'll 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 have a little bit of luck tied with it but that always does in any mm -hmm. in any game like this to me, yeah. it just seems like they're calling it something different, but functionally, it'll work the yeah. same. Like it, it used to be, you got up to level twenty, and then you basically had to grind gear to get past level mm -hmm. twenty. In this, you're going to be able to get to level forty, and then you're have to, going to have to grind gear to increase your power level. Yep. It's just so, functionally, it's going to operate the same. It's just. They're just well, okay. Here's the question. What it looks here's like. the question: with, with certain encounters, they limited your ability to access it based on your light level. And are they going? Are they going to continue with that? So, are you not going to be able to access the raid unless you're light level two hundred and ninety or something like Probably. that? Probably. Or are they going to? Be, are they going to be like if you're level forty, you're good to go? You may be able to access. You'll probably, it, but, but you'll get you stonewalled. Go very yeah, far. you'll get stonewalled the entire time. But you, okay, so that's that's the main difference, and that and that's how most RPGs yeah. go about it. Is that they say like you know you need to collect armor with intellect or strength or vitality or whatever in order to increase your character's ability they've gone back to that instead of saying now you need to have light level on your armor and then you can only access these things unless you've hit that level with the armor and that's like i know no, a lot of people are saying I, it's basically the same no, thing no i think i but think it'll be that's kind of a big difference i think i think it'll be like you can access it like you're level 40 you can access it but you won't be able to complete it because your you know your stats are too low essentially so you'll be able to go in there mm -hmm. you'll probably be able to damage the stuff too like you'll be able to do 
a little bit of damage to it, but you're going to be taking a ton of damage. Yeah, because I, I would like to know, because that means the level of Sherpering is going to be much greater if you can get in there, if you're level 40, regardless. Yeah. Man, that's how it works in yeah. WoW is, you know, so someone's max, yeah. someone's max that's level how, will carry you. That's how it is in most yeah, we'll RPGs. Carry you through yeah. the, we'll carry you through the <laughs> rest of the raid now. So we didn't see what the third level would be of this, this quarter Oryx, Correct. like the third wave. What do you guys think will be in it? It's going to be the Kraken. Three bosses. Kraken. Bring out the Kraken. Summon, summon the Kraken. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think Patrick's right. Like if it's if it just it's just going to be in a multiplier yeah. effect. Well, I think the the even more interesting thing is that we know that there are three levels because they've said there's tier one, two, and then they didn't do tier three while we were there. Right. There's still th- oh, okay. there's still three more statues. Outside. Okay, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, there, there's six <laughs> total looks statues like more. there, so there might be some other so, activities that we just don't even know how to do yet. Wait, when you were there, was there on the left and there's three on the right side of that hallway? Mm-hmm. Did, were you always going to the first one on the yeah. left to uh, the, the one the start one level closest one? to uh, the court the the court of Oryx thing? Like the one closest okay. to the encounter area on the left was tier one, and the middle one. Okay, was tier what two. happens when you try and go to another one? I actually never tried. <laughs> No, nothing showed okay. up for me. That could just be because I didn't have a, a, didn't re- have a regent to actually start the encounter. We don't know. What well, is it called? Regents? A reagent. Regent. That's just the general term from that's what they're called. MMOs. I'm sure someone will crucify me in the comments on the pronunciation of it. <laughs> I still say meta instead of meta. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Do we have anything else we want to talk about? With quarter oryx, or do we want to talk about what came after quarter oryx? Swords, <laughs> exotic swords. <laughs> Let's just talk about yeah, swords. swords. This entire podcast should be just. We should just <laughs> call it swords. Or it's no longer Planet Destiny. We're just sword talking about swords. <laughs> yeah. We're the most specific Destiny <laughs> podcast out there. <laughs> just the swords, folks. We are just going to talk about swords. Blue swords. Uh, red swords. Purple swords. Hey, that's swords a good question. Too. Are there is there going to be uncommon swords? You think? Why not? Well, like we we saw that we had to like kind of forge our own swords. At least that's what the uh, tooltip said. So maybe it mm-hmm. starts out as an you know a blue quality uncommon sword, and then it and then you build it up from there. You really get to learn your learn the weapon. Ooh. Yeah. I, I like wonder this. how fast we'll get the exotics in the Taken King. I don't know. Like in in House of Wolves, they came too fast. Oh, God, yeah. Like they were, we had them immediately, and that kind of takes some of the fun out of playing the game when you already have co- everything you could collect. Then yep. there's like, what else do you do? And kill people yeah. in the crucible yeah. with you know you already with have thorn, thorn in in a Galahorn. What else do you need? An ice <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I hope they come a little <laughs> slower though. Yeah, I do. I too. agree. I, 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 it's yeah. gotta, it's gotta, they gotta play it out a little bit longer. I hope the way that we get exotics also changes. Like more of the quest. Yeah, like in the Game Informer article, they talked about like how there's you know exotic bounty quest lines uh, now. So I imagine they're going to be moving more towards that that line of them, and just finding out how to get said bounties will be the uh, difficult part. Mm. Like, yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, I, I would love it if one of those statues like give you. I'd love it if one of those statues give you a piece of the exotic where you like you just unlocked the dopest exotic <laughs> possibility ever. <laughs> Go get your exotic sword. Oh, that's the tooltip. Dopest exotic <laughs> ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I just got the dopest exotic ever. No, it really just says that. It says it right here. I'm not, I'm not even. It lying. says it. Not lying. <laughs> not making this stuff up. <laughs> you can't make that up. Did you guys watch the uh, live stream live? Yes. Did you watch the raid trailer afterwards? Yes. With Luke Smith. I intro? was. I was amazed that the raid will be coming out that soon. That September eighteenth, five days yeah. or three days after <laughs> the release of the yeah, Taken I was, King. I was yeah, a little that's pretty disappointed quick. for yeah. my sleep schedule because of yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it's okay. So, uh, in addition to like the planned Destiny stuff, I have to do. I also have to, you know, just make sure my my character will be able to do that. I want to. I want to take a break from doing planned Destiny at the start, so I can just focus on my damn character <laughs> and play the game. <laughs> Uh, I was surprised too. I mean, three days—that's not much time to prepare your character, especially if you 
you know, I like to play all three of my characters. So yeah, uh, this yeah. really means I'm going to have to focus yeah, on you, one, I, I think, for those first three days to get ready. I think ready. for the first, like, week or two, you should really only be focusing on one character. At least that's that's my theory on it. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking, too, because I'm thinking, uh, how long is it going to take to level up that new class? Mm-hmm. Obviously, 34 to 40 is probably not going to be that long. Maybe two days for the playing. Let's go back to the timing of things. I'm a little... I'm a little annoyed that I think some of the I think some of the decisions that Bungie has made have mm-hmm. been to move away from the grind, okay. right? And they want us to focus on the story. And we've heard about you know the the new the new Dinklebot, right? Mm-hmm. So has has there been a community name for uh, it? Nolan Droid. Nolan yeah, Android. Android. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the, you know <laughs> we've got this Nolan Droid, the rewritten. The story is supposed to be awesome. And then they institute this thing where you've got like the 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 game dropping at a ridiculous time. Two two then, by, yeah. By the way, guys, two a.m. Pacific a. M. Standard Time, Pacific. September fifteenth is when right. Taken then, King will go then, live. And, and then you've got like three days later, you've got the raid coming out. I, I guess it's just like, what are people gonna do during that time if they want to be raid ready to for Worlds first, right? And I know that's not uh, the huge amount of the population yeah, that's going to that, be doing that. That is one thing that you should keep in mind is people that go for World First are used to this type of grind. So Right. So it's it's sort of the epicness that's expected. It, it, without it, it wouldn't be epic. I, 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 guess. I guess. You know, it would have been nice for the uh, casual player. And I'm thinking for once, I'm thinking about the casual player. Here, <laughs> that's all. For, you know, the, the, the game comes out. You know, at a normal time, uh, you know, at, on on the fifteenth or whatever, whatever a normal time is for anybody in the world. Well, I, I hate to say that I'm thinking Pacific Standard Time because I live there, but I understand there's people that live all over the world, so mm-hmm. there's no such thing as normal time. But let's just say that it comes out on the fifteenth. It would have been nice to have like at least a week, like mm-hmm. we we're expecting from Vault of Glass, yeah. to have before the raid comes out, so we could not make it such a grind. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you work or have a job and you want to be available with your friends to do the the raid, right? You you have time. You have time to get your character up, and so now I think there's going to be putting people in front of in, in in a position where maybe they 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 don't get to raid with their friends because they don't have the time to grind like their friends have. Well, right? I, I think I if know. you're friends with people, you can organize that. Hey, we're all just going to do the raid next weekend. Give us all plenty of time to get the gear up. If you want to run the raid before that, sure. But yes, you're right. I, I, in my mind, I thought it would have been better for a week. No, I, I'm actually I'm, I'm in agreement with you there, Pope. I think a oh, week good. out would be the would be the perfect way to go about it because that's what they did for Vault of Glass. I, I think I know why they didn't. Okay. I think I know why they didn't do it. Wow. Uh, a week from, let's see. I think it would be really close to TwitchCon. I think that's why. Hmm. And well, actually, no, it would have been the 22nd. Is that right? I feel like if they had waited a week or longer, then it would have been really close to TwitchCon. And a lot of people are probably going to a lot of the streamers that are going to want to stream are going to be in and around that time. You can't make decisions on your game based on the streamers, can you? Well, but but I think that's why they did the 18th and gave it three days. Gosh. I don't know. That's I, I could be wrong. I could be completely well, and, off and, and on this, I, I but guess, I'm just I thinking. I'm in a position where I'm. I, I think you're right, Tefty, that there were some decisions. Obviously, there were some decisions into what it was, but it would have been nice to see there been a more casual approach. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because the game is supposed to be awesome. The 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 story, and I I would hate. I'm a lover of the game, right? I want people to enjoy it and talk about it and, and, and get excited about this aspect or that aspect of the lore and things that are explained. I don't want them to rush through it, hammer through it just to get their level up so that they can so they can Be do world the first, raid. Him. Yeah. And so I to me it feels like that 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 feels rushed and um mm-hmm. But going it's... going into the Vault of Glass, I I went in there with blue weapons. Yeah, right? I went in there with rare weapons. I was yep. just barely mm-hmm. high enough level to get in there. It was epic. It was hard as hell. I think that it could be one of the reasons they're going with a fast release date because it's not going to give time for everybody to have fully maxed out 
weapons. Even the streamers are going to have a hard time doing that. The guys that really grind for this are going to have a hard time doing that because a lot of it's going to be based on RNG. And since you can only buy one weapon and one piece of armor with legendary mark, actually, you can only buy one piece of armor or one weapon with legendary marks. Well, right? there's no maximum on what you can earn. So, you know, you you might be able to earn multiple en- enough marks to get a full set of gear in that time period. Okay. If you, I doubt it. If that'd you be, don't That'd sleep. be a hell of a grind. If it's you don't right sleep, amount. maybe. But, yeah, I mean, it might be that we see people going into here for the first time with rare gear, you know? <laughs> like, And that would mm-hmm. be pretty epic. And that would be, maybe yeah. people fail. Like, they go into this new raid and they fail. And that's okay, okay by me. Yeah, I, I like, All right. I like I, that. I hear, I hear where you're going with that. That, that, sounds, that sounds interesting. You know, you're, you're, you're getting people to go in there and, and, and try their best with what they got. Yeah. yeah. Show me but what you got. ultimately, I do agree with you, Pope. I'd rather have it a week later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think everyone's yeah, in agreement. They'd rather have it a weekly, personally. but... Yeah, I, that, that's honestly why I thought of the TwitchCon thing. That was the only thing that kind of made sense to me, where I was like, maybe that's why they pushed this off or, or rushed it forward instead of being a week. Because maybe two weeks is going to be like the community is going to complain dramatically that it's been two weeks and we don't have our raid yet. Well, the hard ro- mode will come out later. That's true, yeah. So, you know, they, it's a mar- it's a good marketing thing, right? It's like, okay, the raid's here. They can, you know, you know, all of a sudden Destiny is spread out across the internet again because anytime something happens with Destiny right now, it's on the front page of every video game website. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a popular <laughs> game and news stories about it are popular. Mm-hmm. So, you know, timing these releases for Destiny, you know, gives them a spotlight. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm yep. sure there's some... I do want to uh, keep something in mind here. That. Like, yeah... The raid is coming out then, but do we know if the hard mode is getting released with the normal mode as well? No, I don't think so. It'd be unusual to see that happen. Well, keep in mind, like, Vault of Glass hard mode was released with normal mode, and it, it took, true. what, like, four four weeks before we even saw someone fully clear that? It took quite a while for that to happen, or maybe I'm remembering it wrong. It might have been two weeks. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it, it took a while because everyone had to actually grind the necessary gear up, learn the fights, learn how how the fights change, get used to the fact that you couldn't res your your fire team. Yeah. It's gonna I, be, that would be really it, interesting it, if they do it, that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see because we know that, you know, like Briar was saying, um, rare gear is going to have a, a light level that is you're mm-hmm. going to want to you're going to want to see rare and legendary gear now. So, you know, it's going to be fun to see what people have on <laughs> as yeah. they go as they go into their first raid and what they're choosing to grip onto. Because you know that immediately by the time the raid comes out, whatever legendary you had as far as weapons and armor is going to be weaker than whatever Taken King gear you found. Mm-hmm. Like almost immediately. So um, I think that's going to make re- – I, I think you're right, Brian. It's going to make for a really interesting stream watching. This is going to be yeah. fun to see what teams are going for World First and what their loadouts are like because they're not going to have that super-duper loadout that you prepped for for Crota. And, you know, yeah, they're taking steps to make sure that people can't just, like, instantly – Get awesome gear as soon as the game drops. Yeah. There's you know, been a like lot of theories. The about switch that. to legendary marks. The a lot of theories right? about that. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys think the XP is going to be a big deal? Like getting to level forty. Do you think that's going to take a while? I don't. It, really it's think not. It's I, 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 I don't, don't think it's going to take a while. But still, anything helps. I mean, hell, and yeah, and wow, people that would play the uh, the public test servers would find these spots that would allow them to get to the max level in about three hours, and then never never tell Blizzard about it. And then they would get that, and then Blizzard would have to hotfix patch it within the first three hours of the new expansion being out because people learned that they could just go there to level instead of doing that. So people that people that want to level up quick will find a way to level up quick without you know doing the content that's provided. If they want, if they they're interested in the story, they'll do it after they get their world first level forty. That's true, yeah. And yeah, we we can't underestimate, or not that we are underestimating, but you can't underestimate what the community is going to just in, instinctively come out of it with mm-hmm. what they're yeah. capable of look at who won um yep the world's first with um with was it crota hard it was it wasn't it um it was triple wreck wasn't it it's triple wreck 
I'm trying to think of who did it where they had to swap out a character. They swapped out a, a teammate. A team oh, yeah, member. no, that, that yeah. was Invigorate. That was, that was Invigorate. Normal mode. That was normal. Right. That was normal mode Invigorate. And they swapped out. It was Invigorate, and they swapped out somebody so that they could come in because, because they had because that higher level. Yeah, that one person had like just uh, had done the faction edging thing. They they were they were, that's what they were concerned with, and then they just brought him in yeah. there because he was level thirty one while everyone else was level thirty, right. and that was that was just enough to to Make kill Crota. That was the reason, yeah. Yeah, and he was the sword bearer yep. right? and was able to yep. do that extra mm-hmm. damage to Crota. Right. Yep. So who knows what the strat is like? Because I can only imagine what all the top teams are strategizing right now with so little information mm-hmm. out there, right? <laughs> with so yeah. little information. I mean, they seriously they seem to be trying to put roadblocks in front of this activity. Oh, well, yeah. There's gonna be a way around it. <laughs> There's gonna be, but who's right? Right? There I shall be yeah. a cheese. There shall. Mm-hmm. We shall find a way. I think that what's funny is that there's all these teams that are probably got their own strat. I deleted all my characters so then I can run the uh, all the missions on hard mode to get more XP as, as I level up. I can go do those missions to get a quick XP boost if we end up needing it. Like there's right. so That's much stuff that you can do. That's a very good point. When you play the story for the first time, mm-hmm. those those missions are worth a lot of XP. The Eris Morn yeah, one, really the, the Dark Below ones, and the House of Wolves ones are worth a ton of XP so if you do them on think hard about mode. It. Mm-hmm. You may want to start a Taken King character over again. I, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> one one might want to do that if they really if, if, wanted if to get the full experience mm-hmm. and get a lot of stuff and really enjoy the story. Because I mean, the story has been redone, right? Mm. Not redone, but reorganized from what I can from what I yeah. can understand. Where there's going like the the story missions are a little more cohesive. They're going to blend together a little bit more instead of, okay, now you're fighting the fallen and oh oh there's some hive here as well. Uh oh, yeah, let's go talk about yeah. hive now. Oh no, now we're talking about vex. We're talking about yeah. They're they're gonna try to yeah, try and to now blend we have together. we got guilty Nolan three four three yeah. <laughs> voicing now. Guilty Nolan, I like it. <laughs> three four three. I want to hear all of the like. I think the community settled on Dinklebot. What are yeah. what are we gonna get for Nolan? The Nolan Droid sound, sounds good. No, like Nolan Droid. He's a little play on words. He goes, yeah. N- Noel Android. He, Nolan. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. It's pretty good. But I, but he absolutely sounds like 343 Guilty yeah. Spark. Like, Hello, I am no the monitor of this installation. It. Yeah, like he, 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 he has that type of voice going, which I was really happy yeah. to see. I didn't want my voice, my, my ghost to, Guardian, you need to get over get over and guard me while I do this. I, I, I don't I don't think yeah. my ghost will make that type of voice. He definitely has yeah, exactly. more of a He didn't timid. choose to sound that way. Yeah. yeah, you know what Bungie should do is just give us a, a bunch of skins and we, we could Call of Duty style. It's so a Snoop Dogg uh, ghost pack, you know? Yeah. I would Snoop pay Dogg money for pack, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what would, what, what would, the, what would the Snoop Dogg ghost pack say when you, you know, you're... Get, I'm not going to open that door. <laughs> he, you could download his voice for Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He would be like, the announcer. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's the I, I, What if Destiny started doing that? Oh, I want a Rick and Morty amazing. voice pack for my ghosts. They did one for Dota, and that actually would make me want to play Dota just so I can listen to Rick and Morty <laughs> in my video game. Should we talk about the weekly update? Yes, yeah, so let's get, in, let's yeah, get let's into it. the stuff. Update 2.0 comes out September 8th. Your character level cap on September 8th for all players will be raised to 34. Mm-hmm. So they're starting it off on September 8th that they're getting rid of that light level. Your actual experience level will be level 34. Yep. Well, whatever your the next line is like yeah. whatever your light level I'm, I'm was kind of at. confused by that. Can, can, what do you smart people explain that to me? What are you, what, what are they saying? What are you, what are you confused about? Well, what, what are they <laughs> saying? Like, character level cap for all players will be raised to thirty four. Isn't yes. it already? So 34? how it is? So it, it is currently. No, no. So how, you know how it is at level twenty right now? That that uh, limit right there is going to get boosted to thirty four. Now I get it. Okay, I guess yeah. I never thought of it that way. All right, thank you. So the level cap for the Taken King will be 40. You will be able to level up by gaining XP alone. These we already knew. Character level and light are now separate statistics. Mm -hmm. Your character level will be grandfathered into your highest possible light level from all gear in your inventory and vault. So it's highest possible, and it'll look at all the gear you have. So even if you're wearing level 32 gear, it looks like it's going to be looking at everything available to your character Mm -hmm. and 
clicking you off at the highest yep. available. Yeah. So if you guys do have like a level 25 Titan that's just getting neglected, it will officially be able to gain uh, levels via just experience yep. and bounties at that point post September 8th. I might finally be able to get my Xbox character leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> Attack and defense ratings for armor and weapons will be translated to the new system. Their power levels will be unchanged. So this is update 2.0 on September 8th. The attack and defense ratings for armor and weapons will be translated to the new systems. Mm -hmm. Grimmer score has been moved from the character nameplate and now displays in the character screen. I'm actually kind of mad about that change. I know it's it's so insignificant. But to me, like, I love being on Earth Patrol and then just seeing like a little baby character walking around. I'm like, hey, is that a, is that a newbie? Like, is that a legit newbie? And then you look at their, you just inspect their character screen, see their see their low score, and you're like, oh, it's a little baby. I'm going to follow yeah. him around and help him. <laughs> you got triple digit Grimoire. Yeah, oh, it's so cute. Shoot everything it's in front so, of him so he can't kill it's anything. It's so cute. <laughs> look at him run around. He thinks this is like Arma and he's like crouching over hills, like trying to you scope out targets. Nah, bro, it's arena shooter. Just. Just go kill stuff. It's fine. <laughs> uh, the quest page is going to get added. A quest screen will be added to your menu. Tracks all active quests. Abandoned mm. quests can be recovered in the Hall of Guardians. Year one activities have been converted to the new quest system. So we're actually going to see the new quest system basically a week early. Awesome. It's awesome. I am excited. It's exciting. Bo yeah. Bounty slots will be increased to 16. Incomplete year one bounties will be auto abandoned on on the eighth in preparation for launch of the Taken King. So if you have an incomplete bounty, it's just gonna get deleted. <laughs> incomplete year one exotic bounties will be auto completed with their respective vendors. Nice. So yeah. Nice. If you've been uh, having a hard time with that thorn bounty. Just hold on yeah, to it for a couple days. For a good portion of the population, they're going to finally complete their thorn bounty. Yeah. Or, or their... Yeah, awesome. or their and, uh, and the day it gets nerfed. Invective. <laughs> all the strikes. Oh, yeah. No, thank oh, you. All, all the bad That's juju. Really cool. All the strikes. Yeah. That's really cool. Hey, does that is that the same for my um, Prison of Elders? El yeah, my Elder Cypher the bounties Elder that Cypher. I have on like four characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because same thing. I have one, I have like, one yeah. on every character that it won't let me delete. Mm -hmm. So it just Same. sits there. It, it just sits at Varix. You just go there, and it's like, hey, I have this thing. You want it? You want it? I'm like, no, no, quit it. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't take the time to do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really worked out well for you. Job, yeah. Way to bet against oh, lucked the out. <laughs> yeah, I was I was helping someone through. I think level 34, and then 35 this week, and I got I had to switch characters. And then I got one on two characters now. So it's like, well. Crap, I have no use for this, and now it's just going to be there. I can't get rid of it. It's like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no use for these herpes. Good Lord. And that's Patrick's herpes quote of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to be a thing. Oh, it's I, can a go, I can go with World of Warcraft me. references every week, but <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's going to hit Twitter. The second the first oh, person hears yep. this oh, podcast, Jesus. You're gonna, we're all going to be copied with Patrick's herpes quote of the week. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if it didn't. Yeah, I'm a little upset. If it's great. Like typed in right now. Uh, great. <laughs> year one bounties issued by Eris will be retired, so we're not going to be able to do those year one bounties oh. with her anymore. No. Which I never liked anyway, so I'm not going to miss. Oh them. I know, right? God, I finally you, get you didn't that like exclamation mark off of my heads up. I know. <laughs> so, oh, you didn't. You, you didn't want to go kill Blades of Crota or go use a black wax idol and. Headshot fifty hive. The, the, yeah, the problem, no. That's the one where you had nope. to punch. You had to punch the. Uh, oh yes. Exploding oh, thralls. Oh, I hate or it or uh, use a, a shoulder barge to a shoulder charge to kill uh, uh, the the queen. The high the, the, the wiz high wizard. Yeah. The wizards, but they would always you know poop. They would fart on you, so then your jump goes away, and then you can't shoulder charge anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh man. Reputation with Crota's Bane can continue to be earned by completing quests in the Taken King. So there will be some new quests to do with Crota's yeah. Bane. Uh, but like the that, that's going to be a legit gone. thing. Like, yeah, like, a lot of the Taken King I'm, I'm, quests are based on, mm -hmm. on Eris, right? I think we saw at the Court of Orcs you getting Crota's, uh, Crota's Bane rep as well in the, nice. in the reveal. Uh, in the tower, collections have been added to the tower. Emblem shaders can be found near Eva Levante. I wonder if Eva Levante will make her return appearance. Uh, that's Tess Everest. Okay, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. 
and uh, she is mine. Near Amanda Holiday. Okay, never mind. Amanda Holiday's yeah, mine. Yeah, but Eva Lavante yeah. <laughs> is. She's the lady who doesn't. Who never. She was the most unsuccessful textile like woman in all of the <laughs> the tower. She seemed to not understand. Actually, that. she's the most successful because she's the only right, one. True, but I think <laughs> she, she no could have used. You know, she had a kind of a corner of the market. So on the market, so she never really felt like the need or competition to change her stock. Right? Oh, she's like Comcast. Yeah. I hate her. <laughs> See, that's why the tower needs capitalism. We yep. need vendors that compete against each other so we can not be charged 14,000 glimmer for a ship. I'm just saying. Yep. <laughs> so she's oh, going to offer I'll, other stuff, hopefully. I'll, I'll pay Amanda Holiday 14,000 for that ship. She she good. She gets I it. I think you would pay Amanda Holiday 14,000 for anything, Patrick. <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying. She got the tattoos. It's her accent, right? It's like a comfort, comforting accent because it feels like I'm back home again. It's like you're in the bosom of your of your mama. Uh, let's no, no, no thank you, like no thank you, Freud, <laughs> no thank you. No. You will now have the blueprint for all exotics you own in your collection report. Oh, report to the Vanguard in the Hall of Guardians. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's actually happening on September. 8th. Yep. So. That's exciting. That'll be fun. So you'll be able to delete a bunch of stuff on uh, September eighth. Uh, I'm 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 so deleting Thorn. Once I once I do this weapon review thing for it, it's like okay, here's here's how much damage it does now in PvP. It it stacks now in PVE, and here's me deleting it. Get it out. It's gone. <laughs> I expect to see that deletion at the end of the uh, the video. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it'll be there. I think yes. that we should collectively try to get as many guardians together to burn our thorns. Mm, just make a montage of people, of people deleting it. People deleting. Send Patrick your a clip. And, and It'll be movie of the week too. Just a two-minute montage of thorns being deleted. What kind of set music it, would you it, do to that? Set it to Guns and Roses. Every rose has its thorn. Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Nailed yeah, it. Nailed it. Definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Be awesome. Uh, inventory. Boats of light will be used to grant XP to weapons and armor. Oh so yeah. Save those boats of light. <laughs> Why do you think I'm, I'm still grinding and collecting them? Class-specific armor materials will be depreciated in favor of unified armor materials. Uh, oh my sounds God, like socialism. That's so exciting. And I didn't just say so. socialism is exciting. I meant class-specific <laughs> armor materials being unified is exciting. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Vanguard uh, quartermaster uh, Ronnie9940 will exchange old materials for armor material. Mm. Mm. This change hmm. takes effect on 915. Mm-hmm. I hope they're not going to shaft us on that exchange rate. I I, do. I hope not yeah. either. I mean, I'm a little I'll be a little upset if they start taking a little off the top. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, I like, worked for, for this. Every 10 you get one. I'm going to be like, "No, no, no you didn't." No. Ronnie, well, smack the mechanics out of your face. Come on, Ronnie. You know you you know you know I can go across the tower and get this from Wait, I can't. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Capitalism doesn't exist. Hashtag like I said, like capitalism. I said. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody get ready to celebrate. Revised sandbox balance will be in effect yeah. based on our previous analysis. Rest in a Brand cold, new shallow sandbox. ditch Brand thorn. New meta. Wow, I'm so excited. And we're going to get a trials without with the with the new meta before Taken King drops. How do you think that's yeah. going to work, guys? Or do we know if we're actually going to get a trials? Wouldn't we? Wouldn't we get a trials before I don't know. the weekend of it dropping? I think it's going to take a hiatus. Do you really? Yeah. I, I genuinely think so. Yeah. Did they say that in the week in the update? I, I no, no, but like that's just that's just me thinking they're probably going to take a hiatus cuz okay, rewards, well, no one's going to be doing it for rewards cuz literally everything is kind of not really useless now, but it's you know on the way out and you know four days after trials. Uh, There's a lot of people that haven't been to Lighthouse though. This is true, and that would like to just get the little card that pops up when you go to Lighthouse. This is true. There's also going to be a new Crucible preview event from the eighth oh, through the fourteenth. Yes. Oh, uh, what is that? What's yeah, that you say, Briar Rabbit? <laughs> Saying I, I think we, I'm thinking I'm going to get the Red Bull crew together again, and we're just going to pub stomp. Mm-hmm. on stream for like an entire week before we one move hundred. on to that though there's one more update the world fallen wolf hunt patrols will retreat in anticipation of the arrival of oryx in your solar system so theoretically we're gonna see some fallen hit the uh hit the other patrols next week hey you're some taken taken, taken. sorry it's taken. the same thing that happened uh the same thing that happened prior to the dark blow mm-hmm 
Oh man, this is exciting. Yeah, so we're gonna get that little event thing that happened, you know, for those different DLCs. It starts a little early, and you're gonna get the. I got the kind of the crap scared out of me when I was going through a patrol, and I wasn't expecting to see the uh, the. You know, you go inside of a cave, and all of a sudden there's guys praying to a, a sword, and then you know, all of a sudden they're running yeah. at you. So um, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> I'm relaxing while I patrol. What are you, what are you doing? doing? Or, or when you happen to be, I'm gonna go start. I'm gonna start that warlock I've been meaning to start. Oh God, oh, what is bad this? Timing. Bad times. <laughs> bad timing, right? Yeah. Or how about or, how about you're like, oh yeah, that that mission on, on on Cosmodrome where you're going through the what is it on the right when you spawn? Yep. It's yep. One of the first I know exactly missions, what you're talking right? about. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is that the, what you're referring to? No, no, I, I was referring to the fact that you know just a blade of Crota would spawn. You're like, hey, you're, you're, you're the <laughs> acolytes are level three and you're level eight. This isn't fair. Right. Well, then, yeah. and then, and then there's that mission that you have got to go through to get your the, very the Queen Breaker captain. Yeah, and yeah. you run it, and yep. you run across a guy that guy, that's like a level yeah. thirty four or something. You're at level twenty eight. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> Just one shots, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I helped some friends out that were starting characters, and they're like, "Why this guy is invincible?" I'm like, "Oh, I don't have time to explain this right now." <laughs> that dude will chase you too. To He'll chase you down. <laughs> yeah, he hunts you down. No, he does. He's a, he's aggressive. All right, so Crucible. You guys don't think there's going to be a trials, but there may be. There is an event. Yeah, eighth through the fourteenth. Everybody's going to get a chance to check out Mayhem. And Rift. Everyone, awesome. if you Everybody. own base Destiny, you will get to play this is uh, a Rift great and Mayhem. Mm -hmm. Great, because it really is. It's brilliant. You, you're gonna see Good. how yeah. much fun Mayhem is. To like, Mayhem is only oh, really man. fun for like three games, and then it gets old. And then it gets like old, but it's great to like burn off steam after, say, doing that Red Bull event. We're like, God, we're we all just went sweaty for an hour. Let's let's just go kill people in Mayhem and not have to care about anything because nothing matters in this game mode. All right, this is what mm -hmm. we're going to do, Patrick. We're mm -hmm. going to get all of us together. Six uh -huh. of us in a party. We're going to go in, Destiny we're going to go into Mayhem, all of us Defender Titans. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do oh six God. bubbles just nonstop. <laughs> bubbles on top of bubbles on top of <laughs> Think about it. How fast you're absorbing the orbs, right? Plus your mm -hmm. super meter is filling up. I, I, I think we could try Wait, to how many, see... How many Nova Bombs are going to come by and I know, exactly. Bubbles? It's like it's going to take one striker Titan to But my point is that you layer that. them over each other, so a Nova Bomb only kills one, right? So I think yeah. that you could actually strat, that you could you could do over 100 bubbles, 150 bubbles. Yeah, a team of six just chaining them, chain bubbling. Do, do we know if... Awesome. Okay, or, orbs do drop in Mayhem. Orbs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, do orbs drop? Yeah, yeah. they do. They, they dropped in the modes that we did. But it seemed like they were reduced. They weren't, like, raining orbs down everywhere. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe they've right. changed the way that maybe, orbs... Maybe they changed yeah. the way orbs work in yeah. PvP to stop Ooh, that specific what if, stuff. What if they ninja nerfed that bubble technique in the Crucible? I think, they just, I think they just nerfed the amount of orbs that could be generated in general. Because when we were playing... Like, I, I rarely saw orbs get produced, if ever. I think Imtash went golden gun, killed someone, and didn't make an orb. And then killed another person, and it made an orb. We were like, wait, there's an orb on the ground? And then they caught that on they caught that on the uh, stream, and they were listening in on mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Yeah, so we were amazed that they actually had orbs. Because I think up until then, we, we didn't get any, even in Rift. So they, they might have mm -hmm. changed the way orbs work in PvP. I don't know. Maybe. Honestly, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, because right, when you chain supers, it can it, get if you get a, super a, oh. incredibly lopsided. Oh. It's yeah. super dumb. Mm -hmm. It's almost yeah as broken as Blade Dancer. Almost Blade Dancer Thorn Shotgun. Yeah, blink, blink, <laughs> Blade Dancer Thorn Shotgun. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I get to experience it every weekend doing trials yeah. when we're helping people. There's always at least one Isn't it or. Frustrating, Tefty? Yeah, well, it, on uh, on Monday nights when I when I do it with the real TKO, usually the last hour, the the tryhards are still in there trying to kick people out, and so <laughs> there's just inevitably blink shotgun uh, last word thorn shows up, and that's what you go up against and get kicked on that ticket. But it's fun when you, it's fun when you don't have to go up against it because I I prefer sniping. It's mm -hmm. more entertaining. Well, just a few days away, we got a whole new meta. 
Oh, I really baby. like this next bullet point, Briar. Try your beloved auto rifles again. Oh, the mm-hmm. beloved summoner. Yeah. I am so excited about this, I'm not going to lie. I, I have always been an auto rifle uh, fan, you know? I loved it since the be- since the beta. And, um, you know, I understand they were OP back then, and they needed to be dra- drawn in, but... You know, we went from OP to just non-existent yeah. <laughs> overnight. Nipped. So I'm really excited. I like that suppression weapon and being able to knock shields off and finish off kills and duck in and out of cover and with a still fire. I, I just like the use of auto rifles and how they play in a game. It's to my play style. I'm really excited that they're coming back. Yeah, me too. And we're gonna get a a full week with Monte Carlo be or not Monte Carlo with well with Monte Carlo too with uh, Monte Carlo but what I was really thinking of is the Mita multi tool being like a top mm-hmm. dog in the Crucible. Oh, yeah, I'm really Before. looking forward to that. That's gonna be a yep. fun week for me. That is one fun. week you of like Mita multi tool. You like Mita, don't you, Briar? I love it. I love, it's a fantastic weapon. Yeah. I absolutely adore it. I yep. love the speed boost it gives you. You just feel like you're flying around the map and. I love just like tapping people away with that kind of faster fire rate with that thing. It just it sounds like a stapler staple gun it does, going off. It just off. feels like a responsive dum, and dum, fun dum. weapon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody said also a pogo stick, which is pretty appropriate. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I could hear that too. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love that weapon. Now I'm excited to have it for one week where it's a top dog, and then it sails off into the sunset of year one. Well, yeah. it'll still be yeah. good in like regular crucible. It's just the trials right. and iron banner that yeah and yeah, that's one thing that people may need to like understand that and it should be clarified for them you should hold on to whatever pvp setup you have for year one that is your favorite pvp setup mm-hmm. because no matter what in crucible regular crucible it's still going to be powerful mm-hmm. because the leveling doesn't matter so yeah. you're still going to see the thorns out there and you're still going to see those kind of things even though they're going to be affected by some of the nerfs that happen where you know shotguns aren't going to have the range and other things but there's still going to be powerful armor that you can use for pvp yeah. gauntlets are yeah. big yeah. on that for me there's no way i'm replacing those gauntlets that have like a perfect roll of great scout rifle reload speed and mm-hmm. all these great perks I'm, I'm not replacing those until i get you know something really better that has similar perks for that specific weapon type yep and also all the snipers out there do not do not dismantle your double down snipers for uh for regular crucible because they'll still matter mm-hmm. yeah. oh good point yeah you, I'm so jealous of your longbow synthesis. I do love my longbow. <laughs> yeah. Does it have short gaze scope too? No, it's got ambush. But I actually prefer yeah. ambush on it because of the it balances out the yeah. aim assist for me. Like I don't like aim assist being too high, and I know short gaze boosts at like ten or fifteen or twenty or something like that. It, it boosts it quite a bit. Uh, Bungie has some last minute suggestions for how you might spend your final moments in year one. Mm-hmm. Uh, lay, lay it on us. Complete those year one bounties. Don't delete characters or dismantle items yet. Try the year one campaign again. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to like have a have a one last time go at it. How about it? <laughs> Jump into nope. the crucible for some new action. This is gonna be like a one week meta. So like you're really only gonna mm-hmm. have a week to check out this meta. So you might as well jump right. in and check it out. Yep. Try your beloved auto rifles again. We already talked about that. Destroy your remaining wolf packs and loot their chests for ether keys. Nope. Don't think I'll do nope. that. No, nope. uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> good. Complete your unless House of Wolves they... grimoire as it applies to hunting in the wild. That's an interesting one. Complete hmm. your House of Wolves grimoire as it applies to hunting in the wild. So if the wolf packs go away, there may be some yeah. grimoire that you can no longer achieve. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And complete mm-hmm. your moments of triumph, but the time has been extended to the 14th for that. Yay. Yeah. Which, by the way, guys, by the way, guys, I just got all my golden chests on the PS4 while we were doing this podcast. Oh, congrats. Well, I also finished off, I finished (laughs) off uh, 2,500 sidearm kills while we were doing this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm, Excellent. Mm. All right. We got some uh, Twitter questions. You guys want to answer some questions? Yes, please. Let's let's get into the discussion. Let me get to them here. Okay. So, Zigomaniac. Mm -hmm. I saw they were earning Crota's Bane rep in Court of Oryx. What does Eris have to offer now for ranking her up? Well, right now we don't know what she has to offer. Yeah. 
if she has stuff to offer and her and her rep is uh, meaningful now, I imagine it'll probably be like kind of what we saw in Dark Below. We'll may have some emblems, some some shaders, some class items, but I don't know. We might see like runes for the Court of Oryx there as well. Anybody still use um, the murmur? Nope. No. Uh, I still have it. I can't. I can't get myself to delete it, but I, I know, haven't same. used it in months. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ke- I'm gonna keep one of my murmurs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Fusion rifles are just kind of in a tough spot right now. Yeah, they, they, they really are. change in the future. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have a feeling that they're um, the way that they're changing um, some of the guns in that class. That they're gonna make a. They're gonna make a resurgence here. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, what we're going to get is similar to the murmur. We're going to get a new sword from her and it's going to be able to switch between two elemental types. Okay. I just made that up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think Pat, she's going Pat to, um, I think she's going to give us since Eris is the, you know, the soothsayer. She's, she's the one that has this tortured by, uh, Oryx's voice in her head. I think we're going to get some earmuffs from her. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think we're going to get like, um, <laughs> A quiet tape of like quiet sounds so we can go to sleep at night. Yeah. I, I, I Ambient think that... music. <laughs> she's gonna give yeah, us some masking tape to cover our eyes yeah. with. Uh, <laughs> fucking no, band-aid. I think she's gonna. Um, I think Eris is gonna give us. It, it would be appropriate if she gave us something that would be uh, for fighting um, um, orcs. I'm sorry, and, and and just fighting him. Maybe something more specific for the for the fall for the hive taken. Uh, maybe some taken. maybe some ghost shells or some mm, ghost shells would help cool. out when we maybe. fight high yeah. or taken. There's all these things now that can give you light and can give you. Oh yeah, she'll ways. probably she'll probably have like a specific artifact or something yep. associated maybe. with yeah. uh, taken. That sounds that sounds like something. I that also I also hope she's yeah. got some sort of exotic quest line that she gives us too. Yeah, because it'd be cool to see a lot of those things integrated with all these the people in the in the tower again in a, in a new maybe, way. Maybe. Uh, Maybe she gives you like you, an exotic eyeball. Yes, the third That's what eye. Those eyeballs were for from that other quest. Jay oh Pacheco yeah. asks us: Do you think the court will end up just like Prison Elders and be forgotten? We kind of already touched on this one earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I uh, hope it doesn't. I, it I probably hope it will. I hope they expand it. It, pro- it probably will, but I'm I'm holding out hope that they expand it and they make they continue to make content for it. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, and also for me, I just hope that the loot drops give you something that are going to be long-term useful that you can keep on using to turn into materials that you need to get these light level increases. That's my hopes. I don't know if that's really going to be the case. What if you were, if you went back and you played the um, previous raids and fights and there were uh, runes for those bosses that dropped? Well, that'd be and awesome. Oh, you could so take you could those... fight like Atheon, like a taken yeah. person of Atheon. Yeah. Oh, that'd, well, be, that'd be awesome. Yeah. What about that? Because he's taken. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, and what about that? And like, you could bring him. You could bring it back, and and drop it into the Court of Orcs, and then that's how you got your tier, your year two uh, exotic version. That would be dope. I'm down. I don't know. Bungie, I, make I, it happen. Make it happen. Yep. Make it that so. sounds it's cool, just, though, right? It's, it sounds it's easy enough to code in. I mean, it just gives you, you know, Look, you get make a taken model. The code, there you go, you. done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that like? Five lines of code? Make it happen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I I saw someone complaining on one of the games uh, subreddit, not Destiny the game, but like our games that. Look, man, it'd be so simple for them to add in space battles. Like, I mean, they, they already have the ships in the game. All they would have to do is just make it so, you know, you have to fly from point A to point B. I mean, it's, it has to be. And he was completely serious. I'm like, what? Just copy and paste in Wing Commander and we're good to go. Yeah, good yeah. to go. Jeez, just add in Galaga and the loading screens. Yes. We're done. Oh, my oh, God, that was great. Hit control C, then Control V. I mean, come yeah. on. You know, the the uh, patent, Namco had a patent for forever about yep, having yep. Uh, like a, a mini game inside a loading screen. Inside a loading screen. And that patent just expired. That, so that's something yeah. that we could see in future games is instead of the just loading screens there are watching long enough, you could fly. easily do like a round or two of Galaga. Right. Absolutely. Was it, wasn't one of uh, Bungie's first game, um, Pong, but uh, not Pong, but it's it was P-O-N-G, but it was G-N-O-P. <laughs> Nop. <laughs> so Jason Jones's first game that he put out was a Pong um, uh, knockoff called Gnop. <laughs> and um, 
I want to see that in a loading screen, to be honest with you. That would be freaking awesome. That would be great. Be and great. if you have a fire team, like it's one versus two. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cue, the, cue the MLG air horns for some loading screen games. <laughs> uh, any, what else, Briar? Do we have? Light em Up Beast says, uh, what guns should we reforge now for the Taken King? And what perks? Or should we just use Taken King or the Taken King guns when they come out? Uh, I'm just going to be using the Taken King guns yeah. personally. It seems like, yeah, they've made it pretty obvious. They've said yeah. it, they've made it pretty obvious that the new stuff that drops pretty much immediately is going to be more useful. Yeah, you want to save In those bullets of light. In PvE, yeah. And if you're looking for a sniper rifle, just go get a uh, Shadow of Aim Assist. You'd be good to go. Yeah. Shadow of Aim Assist. <laughs> hey, so Tefty, I was playing, um, we just finished a 34 Prison of Elders, and I was helping somebody finish up some of their work towards their triumphs, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I had a armor and a weapon core, and I, 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 I still haven't gotten the Shadow of Aim Assist, right? Mm, okay. And so um, I went in there, and, and, I, and I was like, ah, should I do the Judgment's Chance? And I'm like, ah, whatever. I'm, I, I'm not. It's not like I'm gonna get the shadow of aim assist. So I just hit it, and and it popped up, and and it, it felt like I was excited again. You know, it's like <laughs> I got the Galahorn. No, but I, I actually uh, got the gun I was looking for. It was really cool, and I'm now I'm ranking that baby up. Do, That's does awesome. it have shank burn? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, I don't know. I didn't look at what was on it. I if should've... it doesn't, you need to delete it and get another one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm gonna be severely upset if, if it doesn't I'm looking right now I'm gonna I'm gonna load that sucker up you know what's funny my favorite is, perk in that thing is the one that gives you a full clip of ammo when you pop your super yep yep I use it on my oh void my walker goodness. for that it's specific so reason it's so good it's so good I, when oh, it's Briar. gone I miss it Briar this weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen vandals oh. vandals dang it well, those, those guys are kinda annoying too yeah, yeah, there's always the trash can. Not as annoying as Shanks, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those things just kind of lazily drift into your sight lines and then die just, to a single shot. I don't know what you're talking about. In Nightfalls, Shanks are the enemy that kill me most often. <laughs> <laughs> they sneak up, that's why. Especially when they just glitch out and spawn right next to you. Arcburn. Arcburn week. Yeah, Arcburn yeah. week, and they have solar shields, so all my weapons are doing Arcburn. Yep. <laughs> so it takes three shots to get through the shield. Isn't there a new strike that's coming with a giant Shank? Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but right. I, I'm saving my uh, my sh- one of my shank burn weapons just for that guy. What yeah. I'm assuming we're gonna have the damage perk on it. I'm assuming, but what if Bungie was like, "No, this is a boss. You don't get shank burn oh, on no, this that boss." Would suck. Wouldn't that suck? Yeah. I saved a rocket launcher with shank burn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, primary you do with that shank extra burn and a that shadow extra of seventy five damage. <laughs> yeah, that extra seventy five damage. That it's, shank boss from it shank doesn't burn doesn't matter, Patrick. It's the principle of it. Why would you ever do a rocket launcher with shank burn? <laughs> for for those weeks where it's arc damage and then Whatever. they have solar shields. Yeah. You just squeeze out that extra damage. <laughs> uh, I got another question from Light 'em Up Beast. Uh, he he was uh-huh. full of them. Is it going to be worthwhile to run two or three classes, or better to choose just one? Choose one. Yeah. In, in my honest opinion, for at least the first two weeks, just focus on one class. Uh, if you find yourself like running out of content to do or anything like that, then you can switch to another class. But mm-hmm. for at least the first week, you are going to probably have your hands full just dealing with one class. You don't want to have to uh, deal with multiples right now. For me, it really depends on how fast we can get mm-hmm. the new supers because I can't wait to try out the new supers. I I haven't yeah, gone to E3. I haven't tried them out yet, so yeah. that is really going to be important to yeah. me. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting them very early yeah, on. Yeah, so that's going to be one of the things I do very quickly. Um, oh, can't wait. Going into the raid, though, definitely I'm going to be focusing on one. Which class? Uh, that's gonna be a question for later. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. I have a I have a prediction about classes, secretive. and I'm I'm gonna save it for that question also. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Scorps, what would you change in the old six subclasses to make them on par with the new ones? Everybody gets blink. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> you have uh, to yeah. you have to make at least three changes to each of the old blink. six classes. Go blink. Poke. <laughs> okay, what, what, what was that? <laughs> you have to make at least three changes to each of the six subclasses. Go. Uh, they all get blinked. <laughs> Love it. Except for the hunter, he loses it. 
Yes. Oh, <laughs> shocking just, it's just change. Karma. It's just karma. It's basically what it is. How many yep, babies? Okay that, How many so. babies do they have to kill for that? Remember? <laughs> Every time a hunter uses blink, a fairy dies somewhere and a child is drowned. I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically, all my stuff's around PvP because that's why I do the most. But for uh, for PVE, uh, Gunslinger Super needs to do more damage. Let's see. I think Titan subclasses are they they're, need to produce they're kinda more groovy. orbs. Is what it is. Yeah. Blade Dancer, like, Blade Dancer, needs you know, yeah. orbs. Blade Dancer and um, and the Golden Gun. It seems like the Hunter in PVE really just lacks the ability to yeah. produce orbs. The oh, the other two classes are, I think they're fine in PVE. Like they have their places. Hunter right now for the other two subclasses, they they don't have really any group interactivity. They kind it's very of selfish. Yeah, you know, very very selfish class. Yeah. Bolt grenades need to be completely reworked, but that's just the grenades for all classes. Oh, Jesus. Um, the, 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 uh, the range, the range. It's the, just the range on them. It's the fact that bolt grenades um, are... Grenades as a whole are based on proximity, and bolt grenades throw that out the window. It says if you were if you were in range to be damaged by this, it will still do the maximum damage to you yes. regardless of where you and are. And then they, so if they have Lucky Raspberry, it does it to the next guy too. <laughs> yeah, it does it to the next guy too. It's... it's so basically, all basically all blade dancers always run lucky raspberry because mm-hmm. it's just stupid broken. Yep. Um, and then sun sing. Uh, Anything or, there's that still has one a more thing with, on it. Yeah, there's I'm still one more out. thing with uh, blade dancers. Uh, the quick draw talent needs to be probably just taken out of the game because that that makes that class very powerful. Being able to just negate any weapon perk, pretty or the the two strongest weapon perks for PvP are being able to switch to your weapons and bring them up quicker. Like that's on every single sniper rifle. Shotguns absolutely love it. You know, everything everything wants to have that. Okay, so cool. This one talent, boom, get it on everything. Done. Uh, let's see. Defender in PvP oh, Jesus, yes. is god awful. Like the, yep. its super is countered by everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, its melee is the short. I think melees need need a reworking where the further out that you can damage someone, the less damage it'll do. Like, so Warlock's that melee, sense, the yeah. fact that it has the most range and needs to do the least damage. Uh, throwing knife is throwing knife is a little bit different because it's it's a it's a throw instead of a melee. How about a reflect talent for the bubble? Uh, that could be cool. I'd, I'd, I'd like to it see something. Golden gun shots or Nova bombs. Oh Jesus, oh, that'd be Jesus. amazing. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know how to properly rework defender. I don't play it enough. But overall, defender subclass is very weak. Uh, the suppression grenades need to get fixed because if a suppression grenade goes off while a blade dancer is like slashing, it doesn't trigger. Nope. I, I think the the play styles of the classes are kind of like basically aside from your jumps, the play styles of Sunsinger and Blade Dancer are exactly the same right now, where you start off an encounter with a bolt grenade and then hit them once. Okay, done. Cool. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the Sunsingers need to not have their bolt grenade when you pair it with Viking Funeral and oh, Jesus. Yeah. Touch of Flame yeah. does entirely too much it's damage. This, it's, this, too much. it's this strategy, in, if you want to call it a strategy, okay? It's, it is. It, it is okay. So they, 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 a person runs up in trials and they hide in a corner. They wait for somebody to come up on radar. They throw their 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 flame grenade out. Their flame arc bolt, flame bolt grenade, whatever it's called. Firebolt. At firebolt. Thank you. They 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 wait for it to hit, and then they run around the corner and shotgun them. Mm-hmm. I mean, or, or, it, it, or anything shoot, you, or a thorn. You blow they, a they stiff fart in their direction right. and they're dead. I mean, and then if they don't get the proc on the grenade hit, they run away. I mean, it's it's the worst. Like, just just the cor- it's taking corner camping to a whole new level, right? And Trials of Osiris does have a very specific um, m- meta in mind. Uh, the the meta of Trials of Osiris is basically, you know using bolt grenades to get an initial damage and then right. pushing and then said push. target because they're going to be weak for at least 10 seconds. If it's a sun singer, they're going to be weak for like 15 seconds because they can't regenerate their health for that long, which is basically a death sentence in this time. That's right. Um, so they, 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 they've with bolt grenades and the, and the time, the, the dot effect on any of the weapons, they've basically taken um, and made it extremely powerful in PVP Anything mm-hmm. that has a dot that takes a, f- a player out of the fight for extended period of time is going to turn the tides too much on a 3v3 scenario. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, so as you, as you can see, changes to the old six subclasses, the, it goes farther than just the subclasses themselves, yeah. I think. It, it's and, a and, huge amount of tuning. Yeah, um, but it's a whole nother podcast there. Uh, I, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure we could get together with the Crucible Radio guys yeah. and just hammer that in, but that would be kind of useless um, because there's an entirely new, at least weapon yeah. meta coming, and then new subclasses coming. So then that'll, yeah. <laughs> also, I want to say something too. Like Briar, I think it was mm -hmm. Briar, right? You said, do they need to be balanced for PvP? And honestly. I don't think they absolutely have to be across the board balanced and be like this. Each class has to be viable both in PVE and PVP. I think it's okay if one class is suited more for PVE mm -hmm. and another class is suited more for PVP because it's <laughs> like they're going to have to balance nine classes at that point to get them all perfect. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's going to sacrifice some things that I don't want sacrificed versus just having some classes that are going to be better suited for PVP in general. I, I can tell you that that's the role that they took in World of Warcraft after uh, many, many, many seasons of trying to balance all the classes for being balanced in both PvE and PvP. They eventually just settled on, okay, this is going to be the PvP spec. This is going to be the PvE spec. Destiny doesn't require the time investment that World of Warcraft does, though. You no. can easily yeah, make three go. characters yep. much faster. Destiny 2 is going to be interesting because I'm sure Bungie is learning a lot of stuff here and a lot of stuff it's going to be hard to retcon, right? Like, how do we take firebolt grenades away from warlocks? Like, that's going to be pretty simple. We take it away. <laughs> well, that's not going to go I would over not well with pretty much everybody <laughs> who plays a warlock. You know, I know the, the <laughs> only <laughs> grenade that feels like a proper sticky grenade right now is the trip mine grenade. Yeah, yes, because that thing it does not somebody, happen. Anymore. When you unicorn oh. somebody, oh my god! <laughs> that's it's a I, I have a clip of where I did a cross map one mm -hmm. on a, on Widow's Court. I, I went around a corner. Just tossed it in the air. I was like, okay, they're heavy. Their heavy ammo is like right over there. That should. And I zoom in with my sniper rifle, and you just see it land directly on the dude's face and explode. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> that moment though, yes. before it explodes, when they're still running around with it on mm -hmm. them. I love that moment. Oh yeah, <laughs> the mm -hmm. anticipation oh, yeah. of the explosion. They they know they're dead. There's nothing they can do about it. Uh, Peppermint so, you know. Jake asks if taking King fails to meet expectations, is that the end of the road for Destiny? They got Activision funding, man. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the end of the road for Destiny. I th I think it, it would have to be a monumentous, oh yeah, screw up. Like it would have to be just utterly bad for it to punch a hole into Destiny's future. Because at this point, if they if the raid is slightly better than Crota's End, we're going to complain about it, but we're going to keep on playing it. Yeah, they're going to have to basically sell us doo doo on a stick. Yeah. The mechanics of the shooting aspect, you can't get it anywhere else yes, right now. Yes, so freaking good. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be the case that it would be the death toll because I, I, I don't think that it's possible for them to make something right now that is going to piss people off that much. There's just too many people playing this game that that are excited about the, you know, the stuff that we're talking about. There's so much conversations around it. Simply because people care and they want to see a better game. That's how you know, right? Is because there's so much discussion about it. Yep. Right, and and and, yep. and 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 I think there's also that magnetism towards a, a company like Bungie because you feel like, look, they're responding to what we want. This game has evolved so much. Yeah, it has. And that's directly from our input. If you don't, if you feel like you don't have a voice in this community, I I I I, I just don't understand how. You haven't been participating then. You're you're the person that doesn't vote in the election and then bitches about the president. Well, I, I do know, though, that it's it's already too late for some people. I know personally some people who are in my clan who, after House of Wolves, after like three weeks past House of Wolves, they just said, you know what? I'm not buying the Taken King. I just, I feel burnt by House of Wolves. I'm just, I'm kind of done. You know, there are some big games coming out. Fallout 4 is a big appeal to a similar type of gamer. This game, the community is really strong. There's new people picking it up and people just now getting into it. And yeah, Briar, you're right. There are people that got burnt to the point where they're like, no, nah, I'm not coming back. But I think if they see clips and streams and YouTube videos of King's Fall and King's Fall is amazing, I think the the lure is going to be a little little too difficult to resist yeah. for them to not want to at least experience that a couple times. And if you're new to Destiny and you need to rank up that character fast, mm. you might want to try M T7R. 
seven R four seven. You need to send me more of those yeah. because I need. And codes. if you and if you try those codes and they've already been used and you're pretty sure you're the first person listening, it's one of these yokels in here that's used it up. Not it. Not it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Boss Man Twenty One says, "When it comes to the new planetary material, what do you think we'll use it for?" Wiping the droop off of Erisborn's face. Oh, oh wow! I hope it's soft. I hope <laughs> it's double ply. <laughs> double ply. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll use it to upgrade raid gear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably. That would make sense because the raid's we, gonna be on that planet. Radiant shards, uh, radiant energy. We had uh, ascendant shards and ascendant energy. What would be the new one? What's the new one gonna be called? I don't think it's gonna be that easy to get though. Uh, the thing, the thing though, I think, I think the planet material though might be in addition to the the raid rarity materials that you get. Yeah. You know, so like this is the new spirit bloom, and the raid mm-hmm. is obviously on the dreadnought, so it's technically a planet type of thing even though it's not a planet so it's gonna uh, be the that, new there's gonna be the new radiant plus the new planetary yeah, material exactly and plus the new weapon upgrade part it's gonna be like hive toe jam you know <laughs> something that is just growing in the corners hive jam. of hive jam you know it's, it's gonna be like hive no. earwax You're gonna have glorious to all their all glorious their, like, acolyte chunk <laughs> and you're gonna spread it all over your armor to upgrade your armor. There you go. Apply, apply bomb. <laughs> what was that old headache commercial? Apply directly to the forehead. Yes. Head on. Head on. Apply directly Dire- to the forehead. And then the, the forehead. the volume was like ninety percent louder than anything else. So it was. I was. It was like two a.m. I was watching Adult Swim and trying trying not to wake my parents. And then all of a sudden, just apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> Jesus, that's great. Uh, uh, Bubba four five seven 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 says, "How do you think trials is gonna flow next Friday when two point drops on the eighth? I don't know because Tefty and Pope Bear are ruining my dreams about no, having." No, no, no. Trials I'm not. Week. I want trials. Oh. No, no. I, I'm. I'm the one pissing oh, okay. in your series. Yeah, yeah I want trials. I want to use a mighty multi tool <laughs> without having to get thorned to death in trials. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna be pissed off if there's no trials. I'm gonna be pissed off too. I really want to have one week of trials with this like one week only meta. All right, we're we're rapidly approaching the two hour mark. So let's do one more question and wrap oh, yep. it up. How's that sound? Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Copyable Oak 1875 says. When will we get to see the PD podcast guys do the new raid on stream? Oh well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it the first week that we can. Yeah, on stream. Right. So right, right. Yep. So let's right, try right away. To, you know, let's try to do it as soon as we can, and we'll 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 be announcing yeah. that. So um, so if the, if the raid comes out on the 18th, when do you guys want to do it? Uh, right uh, when it comes out. <laughs> right when it comes out. But what time does it come out? At two in the morning. It comes out whatever uh, time. Wait doesn't matter whatever time but so we take all taking friday the 18th off i mean i'm taking it off but then again i play this game for a living so what are yeah. you gonna do tefty uh i'll be playing it right when it gets released so yeah, what hopefully... you need to understand is because of my nda we are not eligible for any world's first anything yeah it's oh. cool we'll get to we'll get we'll get to oryx and then we'll have a pizza party on stream I'm sure it's going it. to be you super guys, important that we. You guys wait. can't do it. You guys can't do it or attempt world first. Right. Absolutely not. That's right. I actually yeah. want to attempt world first. Okay. So, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. So, uh, I, the the question, the, the answer to that question for me is to be determined. Well, let's let's do something fun then. We're gonna try to do the raid together. We're gonna play the raid together on the 24th as a as a live stream. Thursday let's do the that 24th. For sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thursday the 24th we're going to do a special edition podcast where we're going to play the raid together instead of streaming the podcast and we'll talk about the weekly update as we're playing and mm-hmm. we'll, we'll just do a Thursday <laughs> we'll the attempt 24th, to talk about the weekly update uh, as we're playing going to casually live. do the new raid a week later when we're still <laughs> with, under leveled for the content <laughs> with, uh, with, with Planet Destiny podcast team okay and guests Plus Just like the day we did Crota Zen during the podcast. Yeah, right? <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Me casually saying, hey, Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> rockets. So this will simultaneously be our first live stream of the podcast. Right. Let's just And go out. a yeah. raid attempt at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see how I, this I could go wrong. It, I would have yeah, it no perfect. other way, honestly. 
so now, glad that we're perfect. saying this right now on a podcast so everybody knows and there's no backing out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you leave yourself yeah. room to back out, you'll just back out. You just well, you're just gonna eat your cake. You back out. If you back out, you can't eat the cake. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's right. I heard I heard something about cake. What? <laughs> We're just making sure that you can have your weekly raid podcast and and, uh-huh. and not do it as well. What? Uh, sorry, I just tried. Sorry, every listener, I tried my own version of it. You guys remember to tweet, uh, yep. Patrick. Also, no Zerv videos will be formed. <laughs> will be filmed for Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's we'll right what still doing the raid or asleep <laughs> yep. yes we are gonna be it is gonna be brutal oh, oh dude tefty could I'll for like, for the first yeah. week uh, of it do you want to do like a dual com a, a dual com zer video dual com zer we totally could. dual com zer video we can totally do that <laughs> yeah because we're, uh, we're, we're gonna be doing thursday night we're gonna be doing the raid and then you guys are gonna be like wait a second you know and then you're gonna cut loose we're, we're gonna stay in the raid you guys are gonna cut loose jump down into orbit go do zur right yeah. on the live stream yeah. you're gonna do a live stream zur video live stream <laughs> zur live stream zur this oh is a play by play this is tefty teft and patrick live on oh the scene oh my god <laughs> zur's got a fresh cut on the face look at those tentacles looking nice <laughs> look at us <laughs> i hear zur selling cake i'm gonna go eat it oh my Ooh, god love it but, but you remember you're gonna spra- you're gonna spend your strange coin <laughs> It's gonna be gone. I mean, you can't <laughs> spend your strange coins and save them as well. <laughs> of course, I can't save them as well. That's why I'm spending them. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I tried, guys. And of course, I can save them and spend them. That's what investment accounts are for. I put some away, and then they like accrue interest, and then I can spend like my current some some right now. I, I am I am pleading to everybody in the Planet Destiny community. Please help us here. We yep. need a metaphor intervention. Think as much as you can. We need you. We've never asked you for anything. Yeah, help we us. We got to, we got to rid ourselves of the hashtag lost cause because it's real right now. <laughs> hashtag lost, lost cause. cause. <laughs> oh, Dev, uh, that's definitely going out with uh, with this when we tweet out this uh, podcast. It's going to go live. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to the 35th Planet Destiny podcast. I am going to go have some cake after this because I'm an adult (laughs) and I get to eat it because I have cake. And then if I run out of cake, I'm going to go buy more cake and eat it if I want to because I am an adult. (laughs) If you want to find me and talk to me and talk to me about cake, uh, you can find me at Holtzman underscore PD on Twitter. And then I make a lot of videos on the Planet Destiny YouTube channel. Yes. I'm Briar Rabbit. You can find me on Twitter at the Briar Rabbit. You can find me on YouTube at the Briar Rabbit channel. But you can't find me anywhere else on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Tefty Teft with Planet Destiny. You can talk to me at Teft on Twitter. You can catch the live streams for Planet Destiny, typically at 9 p.m. Pacific time. And also check out my own personal channel as well, Tefty Teft Games, where I do Let's Plays. And this has been Pope Bear. You can find me on Twitter at Pope Bear. And I often often stream for planet destiny on friday nights starting at nine and um it's sprinkled here and out there uh, every throughout the week so come and hang out thank you for tuning in guys i will see you next week 